with us now is Ms. Koyan Roberts uh, from the Grenada Border Tourism. Right. So, morning. Good, good morning. morning. How are you doing? Work again. Thank, again. Thank you. <laughs> um, this morning, the Grenada Border Tourism is very happy to be able to speak about two events at the well, one at the end of this month, which is a national heritage event on the island of Kariakou. And for the first time this month, we are welcoming one of the legs of an international air rally. I was told that um, we've seen 17 small planes come into Mars Bishop International. But on the 18th of April, that's next Wednesday, we have 19 small planes and uh, they will have on board 56 persons who are participants and organizers of a 10-year-old program, one of the largest international air rallies in North America, the Caribbean and Latin America. And this is the Governor General's Cup, the 2012 Caribbean Air Challenge. Now, this is important for us because when we look at Grenada, we recognize because of our size, our physical endowments, we are not what one would traditionally refer to as a mass market tourist destination. We need to be mindful of anthropological impacts, man-made impacts, so we have to protect our carrying capacity very carefully. And when we have clients like those who participate in an air rally, we look at their demographic and we understand that they are responsible enough and they possess the required levels of disposable income to really make our industry work. They are coming here and they're spending two days. They leave on the 13th and they fly from Fort Lauderdale to Turks and Caicos. Another leg, they fly to Grenada. And while they're here, they will interact with students from a school in Belmont where we teach tourism education. So these students can see another facet of tourism because this is an air rally, um, it's bringing visitors to our shores, and they can quiz them about navigation, air safety, <coughs> etc., and right. interact in a very positive way. Mm -hmm. So we're really looking forward to hosting them. They'll be here for two days. Okay. What, what exactly happens in an air rally? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I am told that they look at timings for their flights in the air. Mm -hmm. And when they get on ground, the first thing we're doing is letting them have a taste of our culture. Once they've gone through all the procedures at the airport, mm -hmm. they enjoy a slice of spice at the Spice Basket Dinner Theater on Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. On the Thursday, we're treating them to an island tour. Now, they are paying for everything except their on-the-ground transportation. Mm -hmm. They, I mean, this is great because normally when you host visiting media, etc., the destination is expected to provide right. accommodation, transportation. So we have to work with the local hoteliers, etc. And there's some things that we end up paying for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're paying for the ability to work with them a small fee just to have the Grenada logo branded on their t-shirts, on their banners. So everywhere they go in the Caribbean, people will be able to see that Grenada is a part of this event. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, they wanted to be able to pay for their dinners, their drinks, wherever they go, if they're visiting an attraction and there's an entrance fee, they're visiting Annadale, they're visiting Granita. They said, we will take care of that because we want to leave some money in your local economy. And that's fantastic. Excellent. Yeah. So um, they actually, when they leave Grenada, um, they also participate in an air show in Martinique. Oh, okay. So we're, ge we're getting some fabulous coverage in the English speaking and French speaking Caribbean. Right. So there's yeah. 56 people coming 56 to 56 people, yes. Mm -hmm. And they're flying all different planes. I can't remember the names of most of them, but I think they have some pipers and whatnots and whatnots. Right, can't right. remember all the technical <laughs> jargon. Right, right. But it will certainly be a treat. Okay, this is 19. 19 mm -hmm. small planes, 56 people here on island for two days to share their mm -hmm. love of the aviation industry mm -hmm. with students and other Grenadians as well. Okay, so this is just some guys who like flying and just yeah. decide to take a trip to Grenada and get a chance for us to 
show them around and that's, that's right sort of thing. Uh, they that's even cool. have a coco dancing competition at belmont planned for them oh, so okay. <laughs> good fun good fun right. so that's on the um international visitor scene and coming really close to home we have the third annual karyaku maroon and string band festival and as we're all aware the Maroon traditions have existed on the island of Karyaku for the past 300 years. Mm -hmm. Nowhere in the Caribbean have we been able to find, though, a three-day festival that looks at cultural elements of dancing, drumming, and chanting, and married that African flavor with the European flavors of string band music. Mm -hmm. Only in Karyaku we can find that this is being done. Now, a lot of people have said, uh, wow, to go up to Karyaku, that's fun. But if we descend <coughs> upon Karyaku in droves, how many hotel rooms do you have there? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not just about the visitor. It is about the visitor. But just as important, it's about kayaks coming out and supporting their own local culture. Mm -hmm. That's very, very important. Um, the Osprey Lines, they are running. And for the festival, they will be we're working with them to see what type of special fare we can bring to the public right. so that that is um under construction still mm -hmm. um and yes they are hotel rooms apartments guest houses you can call the grenada board of tourism's office in Karyaku at 4437948 to check your hotel bookings and you may want to rent a vehicle while you're up there Karyaku is a beautiful little place and there's, you know, good sightseeing and good snorkeling, etc. So you may want to rent a vehicle. Mm -hmm. One of our sponsors in Karyaku is Wayne Bullen. Good morning, Wayne. <laughs> and I know he will have lots of specials on for that weekend. So the perfect package if you're traveling up is to come up on Friday morning with the Osprey. Mm -hmm. And you can go straight to the village of Belmont. Um, Last year, we were hosted by Mount Pleasant and Granby, and the year before by the village of Bogles. But this year, the villagers in Belmont plan to put on a fantastic maroon display. And they start cooking animals really early in the morning to prepare their traditional smoked foods. Mm. Um, you have pork and mutton and everything nice, roll rice, roll cuckoo, stew peas with dumplings. And interestingly <laughs> enough, everyone who visits is absolutely blown away by the fact that you don't sell maroon foods. It's not in keeping with the ancestral traditions. Mm -hmm. So when the villagers do fundraisers, they work with members of the diaspora because, you know, we have so many um, relatives who don't reside in Grenada and they send back remittances home to help with things like this. And they also receive additional assistance from organizations like the Grenada Board of Tourism to assist them in preparing the foods and purchasing the drinks. And those things are free. That's the tradition. Wow. Okay. So you just have to get up there. Then. You just have to get up there on the Friday to okay. Belmont. This is the way it's been done for 300 years. It doesn't change. The villagers are waiting to welcome you. Later in the evening, they have drumming, singing, chanting. You can see everything in its natural state on that Friday. This year, the Grenada Board of Tourism is partnering with the Ministry of Karyaku and Pity Martinique Affairs and our own Department of Culture within our Ministry of Tourism. So we have a stronger representation. It's not just one public sector organization. This is a team effort leveraging synergies from three public sector organizations. So we're looking for it to be even better than it was for the past two years. Mm -hmm. We have local bands. I think we have one from Pity Martinique. We have 11 from Karyaku. Uh, the Innovation Dance Company will go up from Grenada and uh, the Tivoli Drummers. Okay. And in addition to that, we have three string bands from Beque, St. Lucia, and uh, Trinidad, we have um, maroon bands from Guadeloupe and St. Martin. There is a group in Deswaska out of Guadeloupe and they do something called Guoka traditions. So this festival allows us to preserve our local art form 
and also learn from what other people in the Caribbean are doing. We're also looking forward to the Jolly Boys out of St. Martin, mm -hmm. and they play a range of Afro-Cuban music, so that's going to be very exciting. You have the Saturday night at Belle Park, and you have the Sunday strings at Paradise Beach. And I know last year, people did not want to leave Paradise Beach. Right. After nine, we were still jamming. <laughs> and it's for all ages. Right. It's a family event. Yeah. So you have um, mature people like myself, <laughs> young people, <laughs> like the two of you, and you do have you know, grandparents there with the little children running around. It's, right. it's great fun for everyone. It's clean, it's safe, it's fantastic. Definitely sounds like a lot is happening in Karaku for the Maroon Festival. That's so, right. I didn't realize that there were so many international bands that, that come in. I figured maybe from, you know, Beckway Union, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I didn't realize it was, I mean, all the islands, including the French-speaking islands. That's, that's, that's right. awesome. That's right. It's, it's the ability to expose ourselves and learn. The same way we're learning about the aviation traditions in terms of this modern application with the Governor General's Cup. Mm -hmm. We are actually learning about our ancestral traditions from way back when from other islands. So it's all about sharing information on culture and history. And I must take a moment to thank our sponsors. We have on board with us this year again, Republic Bank, thank you. We're also happy to partner with Grenleck for the third year run-in. We have Karyaku Grandview Hotel, uh, the Bogles Roundhouse, uh, Bel Air Garden Cottage, National Lottery Authority, and uh, just yesterday, the Grenada Breweries Limited decided that they must come on board with us third year running, we want to say a big thank you to all our sponsors because it certainly makes our effort a little easier. Mm -hmm. right. I, I'm, I'm actually just going back to all of these bands. The, the, the foreign bands, mm -hmm. have they been coming uh, the previous years or is it the first year that we have the foreign bands? Okay, or? no. For the, that's a very important point, Mark. In order to keep the product fresh, we had bands, the same bands, two years running from Tobago. Um, we had a different band last year from Trinidad. We welcomed from the BVI, the Lashin Dogs, two years running, and they had fantastic energy. Mm -hmm. However, this year we decided to fresh up the lineup. <clears throat> so the bands that are coming, it's still five regional bands. However, they're different bands. And like I said, this year, we wanted to put a little extra flavor into it. That's why we're welcoming a band out of Guadeloupe. We hope to be able to extend and maybe next year bring in maybe some bands from Cuba, from Venezuela. We'll have to see how that goes. But we want to be able to experience different art forms, not just from the English-speaking Caribbean, but also the Spanish and French-speaking Caribbean as well. So no one can say they go into the same show three years in a row, right? No, 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 no. no. Right. It's something different this year. <laughs> so. Make your arrangements. Come on up if you have family in Karyaku that you haven't touched base with in a long time. Reach out, tell them, Auntie, I want to come up for the weekend, you know. Just come and enjoy yourself and have some good, clean fun. Definitely. Right. Very thank good. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for coming and sharing with us. Uh, My pleasure. Make sure you work with Osprey. I know you, you worked on them the last time and yeah. they gave a deal for, for Karyaku Carnival. They did, so, so we're fighting, mm. well, not fighting, we're <laughs> working harmoniously <laughs> with them but you know all businesses have to look at operational costs mm, so you know that's that's the fine line that we're walking here but we hope to be able to bring something you know in terms of discounted travel just maybe just a little bit mm -hmm. but enough to make a difference to entice more Grenadians to come up to carry a coup for the maroon and string band festival all right. thank Excellent. you all right thank you very much for coming. thank you very very much mm. take care Bye. -bye. All right, there you go. So uh, next, uh, was it not next weekend, uh, well, next Wednesday, you're going to have the uh, the air rally coming in, 19 planes, 56 people. Uh, they're going to be going around Grenada. And then the Maroon Festival is weekend of the 28th. What's, what's the exact 27, 28th, and 29th. 27, 28th, 29th, yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, so make sure you're in Karakou for those three days. Uh, sounds like it's going to be a good time. And definitely to add to um, the the 
air alley people when they come in. If you run into them and you see them wearing anything, make sure you give them a nice warm Grenadian welcome because you know we're here and we're gonna extend our, our hospitality and courtesy to the best of our ability for sure. We want them to come back, right? Thank <laughs> you. That's a fantastic point. All right. Yeah.